we talk about preparing for the future, but we have to remember that right now, in the present, there are indigenous communities and black and brown communities in the global south who are currently, uh, um, who are currently fighting against climate injustice as we speak, and who, who are disproportionately affected by this system, this unsustainable capitalist system that we have. We need to remember the connection between capitalism, colonialism, and climate change. These things are not separated. We must have solidarity with the communities who are on the front line, indigenous communities in places like Brazil, in, 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 in Colombia, in Mexico, in South Asia, in, in the South Pacific, where people, communities have already had to uh, uh, leave their islands because of the rising waters. There's increasing forest fires, hurricanes, and there's also... Um, and also, sorry, and also I was just going to say that this, this system was built on the backs of indigenous people and brown and black people, and that continues to this day. Uh, the, the materials that are uh, damaging our, our, our ozone and, our, um, and adding to the CO2 in the atmosphere are being extracted from the Global South and are being extracted primarily from communities in the Global South where we have people who are on the front line. 207 environmental defenders were killed in 2017. People like Berta Caceres, who's a land defender, indigenous land defender. Um, I, think, I think that's about it. I think I had more to say, but we must remember that there are communities on the front line right now who are dying, defending this, defending this planet, defending their land. Um, yeah, and I think I'll finish with a chant. Um, uh, uh, climate justice now for the global south. 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 Thank you. Thank you.